Hi everyone and welcome back to another vlog. So today I'm vlog I'm vlogging, I'm doing like a daily vlog, taking you guys along with me. Um, I've just got ready, I am in such a rush. Um, so I'm going into town. I've been invited into a store to have a look around, um, like a new store. So I thought I would take you guys along for that and I might even get my nails done. I've got a bunch of returns to do for uh, H&M and Zara because I did a Zara haul and I've decided now what I'm going to keep. I've got so much H&M home stuff that I'm returning because I just didn't like anything. But I thought I'd quickly show you guys a pair of sandals which I bought from H&M that I thought I liked, but I don't like anymore, and um, because the colour is just so off. So these are the sandals I'm talking about. I picked them up online, and I thought they were more of like a chocolatey brown, and they're not. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a bit annoying. Um, but yeah, they're so nice. Like they are really, really nice, and the colour is lovely. But because I have so many like sandals, and I know what I like, I don't like this this kind of grey brown. I don't think it really complements my skin tone. So yeah, I'm returning that. And then I also bought this cushion here, which we already have. So I'll show you guys the one that we have in the living room. But I thought it would be nice to put outside in the um, garden but it doesn't look good and then i got a couple of these like plain cushions as well and then it's a cushion it's a cushion inners which are like the bulky part so yeah i'm gonna put all these in my bag get dressed show you guys my outfit and then we've got to run out <laughs> okay so this is my outfit so i am wearing this blazer from sarah um white t-shirt beige trousers and then my gucci sliders and then my push out matisse bag so yeah this is the outfit for today and i'm gonna head out <laughs> i'm in such a rush okay guys so change of plan i was supposed to get the train but it's gonna be i've missed the one that i was supposed to get so i'm gonna have to wait an another hour to get um a train and i can't do that because i need to do these returns before i go for the um, pr visit so yeah so i'm gonna have to drive in it's fine anyway i was thinking about doing it so yeah i'm gonna drive in listen to my audiobook um obviously this video isn't sponsored by audible i mean imagine if it was i have been so obsessed with audiobooks they've got me through some struggles <laughs> it just gives me like the right amount of it just gives me some escapism i can you know get stuck into um a fictional book because i just find that I, i'm not in the headspace to read an actual physical book i just don't have the time to like sit aside and just read a book so yeah anyway i'm gonna head off now otherwise i'm gonna be late again and i'll catch up with you guys when i am in town <laughs> to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free day yesterday it was so nice looking around the store i picked up a few things and um, you probably would have seen did i show you guys the bags yeah i picked up a few things from the store and i also picked up some um little accessories from 
the Louis Vuitton. So I'm going to do a quick unboxing um, in a bit. And today I'm just having a really chilled day. Um, Jack's working in the office today, so I'm just all on my own today. I'm going to crack on and do some more work now. So I'll do a little time lapse of that. And then um, Jack's hanging out with his friend tonight, so I am on my own this evening. So I thought I would do a little cook with me and um, I can cook one of my favourite meals. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow doing i'm gonna go and grab some lunch because i'm absolutely starving and also my back just kills um so i don't actually know what i'm gonna make for lunch so yeah i'm gonna go grab lunch but i think before no let's go grab lunch now bits i got yesterday and also two things that i have bought myself from lv i did a um handbag collection video which i think is going to go after this video definitely because i'm going to upload that um this weekend i briefly mentioned that video that i bought the matching card holder for my louis vuitton bag so that's what i'm going to be unboxing and then something else as well i am just popping on a little bit of lip I'm just popping on a little bit of lip balm. I'm using this Tarte Maracuja Juicy Juicy Lip. These things are incredible. I got sent it in PR from Tarte. And it's just incredible. I picked up two things from Blue Pond. The first thing comes in this tiny little box. And you can guess what I got. I got the matching card holder for the bag and, and that's what it looks like. So I picked up that. Um, I got these things like three weeks ago. Two, three weeks ago. I've had these for a while. So this is the bag and this is what the card holder looks like with it. So yeah, it just matches perfectly. And then the second thing that I bought, she actually put it in a separate bag, which I thought was a bit excessive because both items could have fit in this bag. Anyway, she wanted to give me two bags, so I'm not going to complain about that. The second thing that I bought is a toiletry pouch. And this is the dust bag that it comes with. I've noticed that the drawstring dust bags feel a lot better quality than the um, flat ones. These feel a lot thicker, they just feel nicer. <clears throat> and I got the Toiletry 15 
um, little case, I guess. This I use in all of my handbags. It pretty much fits in everything. And it's just like a little pouch where I can put like makeup products, hand sanitizer, hand cream, all that kind of thing. So that I don't put those things, especially hand sanitizer, directly into my handbag. I just wanted a little pouch. To me, it makes sense. So I'll show you what goes in it. So this is a little... So I'm going to pop a little hand sanitizer in there. A, a little hand cream in there. This one's from Cocoa Butter Formula, Palmer's. I'll pop a pack of tissues in there. I've got my AirPods in there as well. I'm going to pop one of these Tarte Maracuja lip thingies. And then I'll pop a little powder compact, which also has a mirror like that. So yeah, I'll pop that in there as well. Will that fit? Just a bit. Okay, so that just about fits in there zip it up and there we go it's a little bit bulky i might not need all of these products at once but it's just always nice to have all of your essentials in there then they're not like rolling about in your handbag as well um i'm not usually into stuff like this i find them quite annoying but it just makes sense i don't want to damage my handbags like getting makeup all over in there um, so yeah, okay, so let's get on to the items that I got yesterday. So I said to you guys that I got invited to the Carvella store to have a look around. It's a new store, they wanted people to come around, have a look, talk about it on social media and that whole thing. So I got two bags from there and I got two pairs of shoes and a handbag. They're actually sending me another bag, but it's um, they're sending me it through post instead of I didn't pick it up in store, they're sending it through post. So, I got a very simple camera bag, um, just a black camera bag. I feel like this would be perfect for just running errands if I don't want to wear, like, um, a luxury handbag, um, you know, just for the supermarket. I don't really like to do that because if, I'm got, like, if I've got, like, hand sanitizer on my hands, I don't really want to be touching, like, my really expensive handbag. So, yes, yeah, so the first handbag is very, very simple, basic, but I know it's one I'm going to use a lot. And the bag that I got was just this little camera bag. And it has the exposed, um, no, it has the oversized zip detail here. And then it just has the Cavella branding just there. Zip to the top. Again, the zip at the top is quite oversized. So yeah, this is the bag that I got. And just for reference, this is the Louis Vuitton little pouch. It fits in there perfectly and there's still so much space in there as well when they send me the other handbag i'll insert the clip um after this one and i'll show you guys the other handbag that they sent me okay so the first pair of shoes that i got ah. so i've been after so i've been after some um white high top converse um, for a while now because I love my black ones so much. I really want the white ones um, But I just never got around to getting it. Anyway, I saw these in the Carvella store and I thought Do you know what these would be perfect So yeah, this is what they look like They've got the platform so they're quite chunky um, I really really like these they're fully leather and I just thought I just thought for spring summer I'm gonna wear these absolutely loads and then the second pair of shoes um, were a pair of just simple black sandals. And then the second pair of shoes I got are these chunky all black sandals. Again, I think these would be good for every day, just chilling, going into the garden, or they'd be perfect for going out and about. These are super, super comfortable. When I was wearing them around the store, I was like, gosh, these are so comfortable. So um, yeah, I'm very, very happy with these. Okay guys, so that is my unboxing. Um, I am gonna go downstairs, do a little bit more work, and then I'll come back tonight when I am cooking my dinner, and we can do that together and just chat and all that kind of thing. Um, show you guys what I eat for my dinner because um, I did watch, I did read, I read all my comments from my Zara haul video because I asked you guys for suggestions and I've got so many great suggestions and I've written them and I've written them all down. I'm so excited to film. And one of them was asking what I eat every day. And honestly, 
my diet is just like up and down like <laughs> i don't have like set i don't have like set meals or anything like that i just eat whatever i feel like eating um but i thought i would incorporate that into a vlog i would never do just like an eating video what i eat in a day video i don't know that's just not my type of content but i thought i could definitely like incorporate that into a vlog so i'll show you guys what i eat for my dinner a few of the suggestions were like to do with my boyfriend and stuff and i just feel like <sighs> Um, I like to keep my I like to keep my channel all about like fashion and all that kind of thing and unboxings and hauls and styling and outfits all that kind of thing. I don't really want to incorporate too much of my personal life. Um, even though I do share quite a lot, like I've done like a house tour video. You guys know what my house looks like. I don't know when it comes to like actual people and relationships. I definitely like to keep that off camera. Um, so I won't. I'm not going to do any videos that involve my boyfriend or any friends, unless I had a friend who wanted to. Um, but yeah, or any family members. I would. I really wouldn't. I wouldn't do that because I just. I just don't want to put that kind of thing online. Those. Those are like the people that closest to me. I just want to keep that side of my life private. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys will understand. But yeah, I'm not going to be doing any like boyfriend does this or boyfriend does that. I just. He wouldn't want to do it anyway and i don't i don't really want to bring him on to my channel <laughs> i just want it to be a fun place for us you know to hang out and no boys <laughs> okay guys it's been a couple of hours and i am gonna do the little cook with me because for this meal um you need to i prefer it when i marinate the meat and let it like sit and marinate i much prefer that than if then if you just put the seasoning and cook it straight away so um, it's about quarter to five now and um, so I'm going to marinate all the meat and then I'll come back probably around half six, seven to cook it. Okay, so the first thing you need is some sort of bowl. I'm going to use this bowl. We don't have a proper cooking bowl. I don't know why we don't have one. Just never got around to buying one. <laughs> so get yourself a bowl and that's where all of the meat is going to go. And then you need some oil. I think this is just like vegetable oil. Oxo cube. And then I use this Chinese five spice seasoning. Now, um, I'm, not sure where, I'm not sure whether the original recipe uses this, but I use this and I just pick it up from like Tesco's. Um, yeah, so Tesco's, Morris and Sainsbury's will sell this. Um, and I use this in place of ginger. That's because I hardly ever use ginger for any other type of cooking except from this meal. So um, I find it a bit pointless buying ginger and then it going off. Because every time I buy it, um, it just goes off really, really quickly. So um, I use this and I think it does have ginger. Yeah, it does have ginger in there as well. And then you just need some corn flour and some dark soy sauce and then you just need um your diced meat and i think the recipe does use diced beef as well so that's what i'm using i've just got some aldi i usually go for the premium one because it's less chewy but my aldi um i keep saying aldi no i mean lidl <laughs> my lidl um just hasn't had any of the premium stuff so like premium meat so i've just got a stick so I've just been using this one. It's a little bit more chewier, which is a bit annoying, but hey ho. And then you also need two peppers and half an onion as well. Well, actually, I think it's a whole onion, but I'm just going to use half. Oh, I forgot to say that you need garlic as well. So I'm going to start off by chopping up the veg. chopping up the peppers you want to trick you want to chop them up quite chunky
I'm gonna chop up for four cloves of garlic i'm going to use this garlic for marinating and not for the um vegetable it all all makes sense in a bit Where you're going to marinate all of your meat in terms of measuring i never ever ever meant measure anything it's so bad so i will link the uh, i'll try and link the original um recipe that i found this from because i'm sure she would have left all of the um all of the measurements on her video but i probably i'll just use like a tablespoon um just for your reference so i'm going to use three tablespoons of vegetable oil then i'm going to pop in the garlic just the garlic and then i'm going to use one tablespoon of dark soy sauce and then i'm going to add a tablespoon of honey then i'm just going to sprinkle in um quite a bit of this uh chinese five spice i think my camera stopped um, filming them but I've put about a tablespoon of corn flour and I put one oxo cube and then when you mix it all together this is what the mixture should look like and then I'm going to open up the packet of beef and add that in yeah, this is the family pack size of beef um, I would just go for like the standard pack not the family pack What it should look like and i'm gonna pop this in the fridge to marinate for a couple of hours um and i would definitely recommend leaving it for at least a couple of hours or even longer after you've cut the vegetables the next thing you do is you need to make um the woman in the video in the original video i watched called it a slurry i've never heard of slurry before but it's like a sauce that's gonna um help to like cook the vegetables not describing it very well so what you're going to start off with is a bowl and you're going to fill it up about a quarter of the way with water after filling up your bowl with about um, a quarter of the way with water you're going to add um, basically all the ingredients that you use to marinate the meat into that bowl of water so you've got your dark soy sauce your honey um yeah chinese fried spice and your corn flour you can add about a tablespoon of each into that and um i'll show you what it looks like once it is done and this is what the sauce is going to look like so the next step is i'm going to turn i'm going to turn my pan on and i'm going to cook the meat looks like when it's cooking and when it gets all nice and brown like this I'm going to put the meat in this bowl and then I'm going to use the same pan to cook the vegetables now if you have two pans that would be better but I don't have two pans so this is what I've got to do I'm going to use the same pan and I'm going to pop the vegetable onto there that slurry that I made I'm gonna pop that in with the vegetables I'm gonna turn the heat down just a little bit I'm gonna let that 
cook for about 10 to 15 minutes until the vegetable gets really nice and soft. Okay, so I have cooked the vegetables and they are a lot softer. And then now I'm gonna add in the meat. And now that I have added in the meat, I'm gonna let it cook for about 15, 20 minutes. And then I will serve up and show you guys what it looks like at the end. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. I've tried to show you it in real natural lighting because the fluorescent lighting is just crazy. Hi everyone, I'm just editing this video and I just realised that I completely forgot to end the vlog. So, thank you so much for watching this vlog. Hope you are having a lovely, lovely weekend. Um, if you're in the UK, I hope you're having a lovely bank holiday weekend. I'm literally just sat in my garden finishing off this video. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!